We are currently documenting the Los Angeles Skid Row neighborhood in 360 VR virtual immersive video. If you have the VR goggles, you will have a hands-free experience. If you don't have VR goggles, you can still utilize your mobile device. You can turn your phone up, down, left, right, look all around me and see what's happening at any given time. If the image quality looks a little bit grainy, that's because YouTube automatically recommends the footage in the lowest resolution. You can, that's a large roach. That was a huge water bug crossing the street. That thing was like, like that big and he was out too. But um, you can adjust it based on your internet quality. Just go to your YouTube browser, click the little settings uh, gear wheel, and then you can change it. Whichever one you like best. Usually 1080 is the sweet spot. On my left, if you turn your camera, you'll see where some of the tents start to begin. This is their little outdoor environment. Now, the difference between Kensington and this area, which I find intriguing just by the name, Kensington is, or is based off of an affluent neighborhood in London. So in London, there's a neighborhood called Kensington, and that's uh, a wealthy neighborhood. In Philly, we have Harrogate, we have Kensington. Now, those neighborhoods aren't like their affluent counterparts. Actually, the ones in Philadelphia were named after the ones from Europe because people from Europe migrated to Philadelphia in Philadelphia's earlier days and they owned pieces of land in Philly and they ended up naming those neighborhoods that. Check out that rat. Big old rat just ran by. Now, Kensington doesn't sound bad. It just sounds like Kensington. Skid Row, the whole time I kept hearing about Skid Row, I thought Skid Row was like a nickname or like a metaphor. You know, when you reach rock bottom or you reach like a lower point in your lifetime that's a term that I thought people utilize like watch it don't fall under skid row or don't you know don't end up doing the wrong thing you end up on skid row I didn't know that there was a real neighborhood in Los Angeles named it so if you look on the map you'll see it That's the big difference. I think this name's a lot harsher to be a neighborhood name. And for it to actually live up to its, to its uh, title. You know what I mean? It lives up to its title.
Realizing that the bird of prey was likely to drown, the crew decided to intervene and save it from the giant octopus's formidable tentacles. The fishermen used a pole to bring the bird back to the boat. That's a pretty big rat. That rat was out. Just saw another big rat. Since I've been walking, I literally just saw three huge rats living amongst the people that are out here. Well, man had some money though. He had like a good several to 10 bucks. Yeah, a little light up bike.
There's little encampments on each and every block. We're passing Stanford Ave, walking down 6th Street. On each and every block, there's a variety of these tents. These little homemade tents that are out everywhere, guys. Now, Philly, I was speaking about that briefly in the driving tour. In Philly, they're not smart enough to create these large home-like tents. Shed-like in a sense. Because a shed is 10 by 10, 10 by 12. A lot of these appear to be 10 by 10. Which, in my opinion, uh, kind of like shields them from what's going on outside and kind of protects outside from what's going on inside. The people outside don't get a chance to see it. So many places I could go. I could go right. I could go left. Seems like they're having some type of religious argument over there. It's kind of late to be having a religious argument out here on Skid Row. Hello, have a good one, have a blessed night. Yeah, I think we're a couple days off of Happy Father's Day. And I just, you know, wanted to be friendly in return, but I don't really have children. <laughs> Only child I have, I guess, is probably like my dog, Jersey. I don't have any children. A couple people told me that on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I guess it's something you say to males, but I don't really have a child, so I ain't have any kids yet, so. There's more tents on my left. I'm sure there'll be tents on my right on 7th Street. Yep. So as I'm walking, you guys can feel free to look around, move your device around. Like I said, if you got the VR glasses, you're getting the best experience. All you gotta do is put on the headset and just look around. Oh, dog's taking a poop. What's up, doggy? You all right, boy? He looks constipated. That was a blue nose pit. That was a blue nose pit bull. Oh, they listen to the music on the left. They got the banger on. They got the system dumping. Got a nice little porter potty out here. At least they got that. Oh yeah, they got one on this corner too. Yeah, that block. All these little blocks. Some have more than others. I'm going to cross the street. We got vehicles coming straight to me. <laughs> right now we're walking westbound on 7th Street. This is so close to the heart of the city. 
It's amazing how close this is to the heart of the city, guys. And what you guys just saw was a pinch of what's really there. Because when I was doing the driving tour, I saw a lot more. I was cutting and going through little blocks and it almost felt like like a little endless circle of just the same thing. Wow, look on my left. Graffiti all over the Quickie Mart. All right, we're on 7th and San Pedro. We're in the fashion district of Los Angeles. Walk down San Julian. They're renting that out right there. Hey. Hey. Look at that cat creeping. Cat looks cool next to the graffiti. Have a good night, man. Another rat. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when you play GTA and you get random people that say random comments. When you go by like different areas of GTA, that's how it be in real life. And GTA is based off of the Los Angeles map. And I think Los Angeles lifestyle. So in GTA in the game, you might be walking by and somebody might say, hey, F, F you, or what you looking at, itch? You know what I mean? That's how the game is. But if you notice, as we're walking by, you hear different sound effects. You have friendly people. You have people that might not be so friendly. Sometimes it might just be a mental disorder, you know? People have Tourette's. People have different things that 
You know, they can't control. He's probably over there having an argument with himself. As you notice, every few couple blocks, there's some type of music on. People just vibing out to music. I'm not trying to pick up a clean sound bite, so, so I'm walking away from the music. But what you guys saw today was just a little teaser of what people actually go through on a daily. And I'm sure like on different weather, it varies. And also on different times of the year, I'm sure it varies. I'm sure daytime versus nighttime, it varies. You probably come over here in daytime, it's probably double the amount of people. But I just wanted to document this. Document this. I don't think anyone's ever documented the Skid Row area in 360 at nighttime, at least. You heard that? That sounded like one of those uh, game lines. When you're playing GTA, what she was just saying, she was like, I'm not trying to kill nobody. But that goes to show you, that's a good example of what I was talking about, like how in the game, they be having different lines. They program the uh, random computer characters in the game to have different lines. And I think they probably walked through <laughs> areas like this and got some inspiration on things that might be said, and then they program them into the game. Play Grand Theft Auto sometime, and you'll get what I'm talking about. Your character could just walk by random people, and you'll hear different. Yeah, I kind of stood quiet there in case she gave, she came with her own, um, you know, lines. All right, we're at 5th Street, 5th and Los Angeles Street in the Fashion District in downtown LA. So this is your homeboy tune, you know, to show some love, show some support, comment in the comment section. Every comment helps this channel. It helps me, you know, by you making a comment or hitting that thumbs up button. It's like low key, you guys are making a donation. I always look at comments and thumbs ups as donations if you want to go the extra mile you can share this video share it with a friend or family member 
share it on the social network copy and paste the link you can email it to anyone you can text it to anyone that'll be great help i would really appreciate that if you want to uh, see more footage if you want to stay tuned make sure to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel meanwhile this is your homeboy tune you know tune dollars tune 215 tune be chilling and i'm tuning out